Okay, today we're going to make an underwater magnifying glass. Um, these are really easy to do and they actually really do work. Um, I, it's suggested that you could either use a Pringles can really worked well or a um, coffee can. So we do have an old fashioned coffee can. Um, I say old fashioned because mine are plastic that I use at home normally. Um, so you'll need that and then you'll need a clear plastic um, freezer bag and have big enough for <laughs> and one large um, elastic I start out with a smaller can so um, let me go grab another bag real quick yes I've got a bigger bag so um, what you need to do first is take your can opener and you're going to take the bottom off Okay, then you might want to have parents check to make sure there aren't any sh sharp edges through here. And you've got it open. Careful when you grab that up. Then you are going to cover it with a um, the plastic. I did not grab. Some. Okay, then you are going to. We could actually probably use half of this. So I'm going to cut my bag. Then you're going to stick it on the top, put your might have somebody help you hold it, pull it tight on there, and then just trim your edges. Easy peasy. There we go. Trimming it, trimming it. <laughs> um, if you want to be fancy, I guess you could have painted your can first or put, um, decorated it, put stickers on it or something, but mine's plain. Okay, that's all there was to it. Or you could use, this would be another cool one because you could see down in there easily into the water. <clears throat> um, all you have to do, it says how your magnifying glass works, is um, you press um, the magnifying glass gently into the water. Uh, plastic side down and the plastic depresses and forms a sort of lens that reflects um, the light's rays and creates mag magnification. All of a sudden you can see things clearly underwater and um, you didn't realize um, that they're bigger so it's really cool. If I can uh, maybe I'll add to this and take it to some pond water in the next day or two. Okie doke.